Hi, Penny with Sage Butterfly Designs. Lost tube number 37. And today's date is the 8th, oh, the 8th, no, the 8th month, Penny. It is August 15th. <laughs> um, yeah. Crazy times, crazy times. Um, I'm not a summer person. I do not like this heat. Yesterday, our actual temperature was 98 with a feel like of 114. And yes, I had a sunset wedding on the beach. These crazy people and get married on the beach in this kind of heat. It... Oh, well, until I get paid for, right? Goodness gracious. So I am more of a spring and fall type of girl. Those of you who enjoy the summer, I hope you are enjoying it because it has been very hot here. Um, as far as the move, the house, all that kind of stuff, I'll give you more information on that at the end. Bo was sleeping behind me. I think you'd see some toes right there in the very, very corner. There he is. There's that big boy. Messing up my rug. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, I don't have any FFOs. FFOs are going to wait until after the move. I do have a finish. The Lizzie, right there, there we go. The Lizzie Kate Bless Our Home, and it is going to be framed for my sister-in-law for as a Christmas gift. And see here, I got, I've done a lot of whips. I've touched on everything but two Tinctorium, which you knew that one was coming. I haven't touched on that one. I really want to work on it this month, but I just don't know when because I've got to be able to concentrate on it. And yeah, <laughs> um, so I'm trying to get to Tinctorium. The other one is the Petuni Petuni uh, Christmas ornament, and I'm just not feeling Christmas ornaments, so it's got one little piece of it done and it's still sitting there. So, but if those are the only two I missed, I'm perfectly happy with that. So this is almost like a whip parade because everything got touched first one is going to be seasons of the heart and that's by the blue flower and here's where i'm at um last time i only had this one flower done so i got this flower and a couple more stems there's actually a couple of flowers right here they're white so they're hard to see on the camera they show up okay in person, but on the camera, they're just not showing up very well. My other blue flower design, Summer Acre, Acorns, not Acres. That was a show, wasn't it? No, it was Blue Acre, Green Acre, Green Acres, that's what it was. That was a TV show. <laughs> this is Summer Acorns. <laughs> Here's my progress on that. I am working on the bottom vine here. And as you see, got it mostly done. It needs the squirrel. I'm not sure where her squirrel goes. It needs an acorn. No, that's a flower. Flower, an acorn, an acorn, and I think the squirrel goes somewhere right in here. But that's it. So it, it is very close to being done. It will be done before the end of the month. So, yes, some are acorns. will be done before the end of the month. And this is a month where I don't have any plants. I'm just kind of whatever in it. And I'm actually doing really good with that. So, yeah. Next up is Christmas Eve Santa. And here he is. I finished his hat. I got the... Well, I'll take that off so you can actually see it. I had his face done. I think I had the trim done, but I didn't have his hat done. So I finished his hat, and I also put the gold thread in here. So it needs a backing, doesn't it? There we go. So you can see that. My unspoken goal for... Oh, wow, look at that. That's just my nail polish. <laughs> My unspoken goal, you know, I said I don't have any plans for this month, so whatever happens, happens. But one of my um, goals is to go ahead and get this done, is what I would like to get done. And hold on. 
Sorry for the interruption. My son called, so yeah, he took precedence. Sorry. Um, I, of course, as usual, I have not been saying what my fabrics are or anything else. Um, I do always put it in the notes below, so if you ever have any questions, you can always check there. This one is 32 count twilight cashel linen. All right, next one is going to be my Mirabilia um, Lavender Mist. My Teresa made me do it. I started it the um, on January 1st and she is on, hold on, let me scroll here. There we go, 32 count Aurora by Silk Weaver with the Cold War DMC. And I got not much done. I got like this section of filling done. I still have all of this still left to fill in, but I at least got a hunk of it done. So definitely needs some more attention. I would like to get that. I know I keep saying I don't have any plans. I'm like, well, I'd like to get this done. That will be done, eh, you know, but I would like to get that piece done at least in August. So if I could get the flower petals done in that section and finish off that page, even better. But as long as I get the fill in done, I'll be happy. I also got out my Chatelaine Summer Fairy. And section two was the fairy itself. And I got that completed. And I started section three, which are these banners. So the banners here are section three. And I got the outline of these done. So, and this is on 32 count uh, Chesapeake Wex Wexford Lugana. And I started this one in February. All right. And my oldest whip is Santa Sleigh by Nora Corbett. And this one was started in November of 2022. So. That's my oldest whip, which isn't really that bad. It's not even a year old. So I see some people are like, oh, I've been doing this one for five years. And yeah, so it's not that bad. It takes a little over a year, though. But I don't know. Um, anyway, this is on 32 count mint splash. And I got all of this done. Well, I had the green done. Just all the gray and the red and the white, all the different shades of gray and the white and the red um, done through here. So I actually got quite a bit done on the sleigh. All right, Plum Street Sampler Cinnamon Stars. And this one is on 28 count Hocus Pocus. Um, and I started this one in May. And I worked on the pumpkins and a little bit of the fencing. And I pulled out my, sorry, this one wasn't out of its bag. Around the Block by Jay Designs, and that's uh, Morning with the Scissors. And last month I got this square done, the Christmas one. And this month I got that one done. So there's six squares. I'm hoping I can do more than one a month here soon. Otherwise, it's going to take me forever to get it done. <laughs> whip is the blue flower autumn bee and I did see that this is being released for um, market for needlework market or expo whatever it is but she is releasing this pattern so if you like that it will be it is being released and this was my birthday start in April and I got the wing outlined so I still need to fill it in but that's just a good fill-in work. I'll probably take that to mom's with me next time I go here in the next week and just do that fill-in. So, 
those are all of the whips in my finish. And what do I have here? Oh, I have a restart. I have to think about what one I have next. And that um, Autumn Bee is on 18 count raw linen, raw Ada. All right, so I had originally started Indiscretion by Long Dog Samplers. I had started this on this crazy fabric. So here is the crazy fabric. You see, very colorful, very crazy. And as I was looking at the stitching, I was like, that just seems to be blending in too much. This is not standing out the way I wanted it to. So I did a restart. I got further than I was. So here is my restart. Okay, there we go. So as you see, you can see it's so much better now. And this color here is DMC 4. 30 and this one is DMC 440 and this is Weeks Dye Works Caribbean so I'm just kind of playing with those colors still not sure how they're going to work through there whatever strikes my fancy I may even grab some other colors along the way I don't know but um, it is now on this fabric here is a 28 count water lily linen by Wexel and I think it shows up so much better on that. So I'll have to tear that out so I can use this piece of fabric elsewhere. And my other start, I had two starts, was my Autumn Garden Collection Falling Leaves that's falling out. And this is by the Mindful Needle. And this is using the um, Autumn Garden Palette by uh, Cottage Garden Threads. So here's the four threads. So it makes it nice for traveling. So this I worked on last weekend when I was at mom's and I got all of the tree done and the basket <laughs> so I got a lot that's on 14 count vintage oak and so as you see I've got a few of the random leaves to put in fill up the leaves and rake so hopefully I'll get that done the next time I'm at mom's that in the wing and I'm good so we will see but that's my easy travel, easy count. Mom's house that doesn't have good light type of stitching. Okay, haul. We're on the haul. I don't have that much. I ordered some more fabric. Yes, I ordered more fabric. Let's just put it out there. Yep, more fabric. But... I was looking for just the right thing for a certain pattern we're talking. Oh, my hair is in my face. Sorry. There. Okay. I'll show you the fabric that I got. But she also sent me some samples. Thanks. Look at this. And this is from Witch's Garden from Etsy. And this color with the opalescence in it crazy but this one this one is tempting me to go back onto her Etsy and order more fabrics uh, let me put some behind so you can see it look at that is that not gorgeous look at those blues and that purple oh my gosh and that sample let me flip it over so you can see it that way too the blacks in there and <gasps> I'm trying to resist buying it until I have a particular pattern I want to go through. So I'm just keeping the sample so I can be remembered of the colors. And then later on, when I find the right pattern, I'll be like, that's the pattern. 
for that. So, right now, temptation is being held back a little bit. But, what I did buy is, let me get the glasses on. The first one is 28 Count Lugana Wrath. Look at that. I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more orange than it is. It's more red and orange, which is fine. But the piece also just wasn't quite big enough for the pattern that I was thinking of maybe doing on it, which is fine. I'm sure I'll find other patterns for the fabric. It won't go to waste. And I have 16 count pride. Look at those purples. Again, and pinks. No clue what I'm doing with it yet. None at all. But I have it. So when I find the pattern, I'll go with it. 18 count sloth. I'm not going to open this one up because it's just that little bit of marbling. It's not as marbled as some of these other ones are. But look at that. That green. Oh my goodness. It could go fall. It could go Christmas. It could be spring. It could even be summer. I mean, just that green is just so like perfect for just about everything. No matter what kind of pattern you put on it. But the last one is the whole reason why I was on the site to order from, anyway, is this fabric I was thinking about from last time. And that is Frankenstein. And it's 18 count. And look at that. Let me open that up. Look at all those teals and purples and grays. Is that not just totally gorgeous? So I decided I am going to use it on my Halloween bag. I fat quarter shots. I am going to use it on Teresa Kogut's Silo Witches. So that's the pattern. on this fabric. Yeah. That's going to look awesome. I originally was going to do it on this, which is um, picture this plus confetti. I like the colors in it, and it matched more of what color she has as the example. So originally, I was going to use that color. However, called for color. She only calls for guacamole and swamp water, which are these two. So if I just use these two colors, then this is not a problem. However, I'm going to randomly choose different things to do in different colors and have chosen this palette. So we've got the swamp water. This one's called jack-o'-lantern. Trick or treat, um, hot rod, marigold. Oh, it's actually called Noel. I don't know why it's called Noel. It looks more fall to me, but um, daffodil, yellows and greens, the guacamole we already talked about, and taffeta, which are some very dark purples. So I'm just going to be like, I put down here is a hypothetical possibilities like the witches in the taffeta, which is that purple color. So all the witches would be in that. And then there's a lot of cats in here. So all the cats, I have them as being swamp water. And then I might like grab this one and do trick or treat and maybe grab that one and do jack-o'-lantern and do, so I'm just going to kind of bounce around and do the different, um, all these different colors. But once I had these extra colors on here. You get some of these yellows onto this fabric and they melt. 
they're not standing out as well. But you put them on Frankenstein. And oh yeah, they look awesome. All the colors look great. So I was able to keep my whole palette and use Frankenstein. So Frankenstein is going in there. And the picture of this plus one will be put away for something else. I'm sure I'll find something else. So now this one is kitted. And I kitted one other. My chair is so squeaky, isn't it? The other one I kitted was my blue flower magpie in the moon. And I decided on, what's this called? A touch of gray linen. And it is in 28 count. So I'm going with that color. And I have the called for flosses here. So there we go. So gorgeous, love that. I got that kitted up. Not that I have any plans of starting it anytime soon. I'm gonna be starting that Teresa Kogit one though. That one's calling out to me. But it's kitted and ready to go. Alright. That's off. So let's see here. We'll applique. While driving down the road, it's easier for me to do wool applique. So I have my snowman pretty much done. He just needs some button eyes, needs his eyes. And then on the pattern, there's a punch needle design that I turned into a um, wool applique. So you see he's got like buttons and then button eyes. And there's just a couple little buttons and I moved my heart into a different direction. But, there it is. so I need to get button eyes. I'm gonna put a button. Either that or I'm gonna do some feather stitching in here. I hadn't decided which, probably just put a button in there. Maybe do something in here, I'm not sure. But, it's pretty much done. I got my satin stitches over here. My blanket stitches do not look too horrible. They're nice and tight this time. And I did a whip stitch right through here on the heart, but everything else was blanket stitched. So yeah, I got another one. Well, applique pretty much done. So I said just buttons and that's part of finishing. So that will applique is done. I can make it into a pillow or a block or something I had. No. Finishing is not where my mind is right this moment. And I need to decide. I think I'm going to start Joy next. And it's already applique on, so it's just a matter of stitching it. But I'm thinking I'm going to do Joy next. Um, if not, the um, Autumn Penny Mat. But. I'm worried about starting this one just yet. I don't know. I don't think my stitches are good enough yet. And I don't want to ruin it. So I'm more going to joy that way. If I ruin the stitches as I'm still learning them, then I won't be as upset as I would be for the doily that's going to be laid out. So, so last month I was going through a streaming stage. And I st streamed several <laughs> seasons of a show. I also tried to keep up with the floss tubes. And this month, I started an audiobook series, and I'm like really into it. I'm on book three of four. Well, actually, there's five in the series, but one of them's not coming out. To, the last one's not coming out till December. So I'm on book three of four, and I'm really into it. So I haven't been watching much floss tube. I am trying to catch up. I did watch three this morning um 
But anyway, I wanted to take a moment and say thank you because I appreciate you all watching my videos, even though I'm trying to get caught up on everyone else's. Um, but I know you have so many choices out there as far as streaming and audiobooks and watching movies and TV and everything else. So thank you for stopping by and visiting with me. I do have a giveaway. Um, it's my design. It's uh, the three pumpkin chart. I'm going to put a picture of it right here. And I'm going to do three winners for the chart. It will be um, PDF emailed to you. Um, if you're interested, use the number three in your comments and we'll give three winners the three pumpkin chart. I did go ahead and get, um, as far as other design business, I did get the point set out to those people who wanted to test stitch it. Come here. So next week on 823 is my floss tube anniversary. One year that I've been doing floss tubes. Um, I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway, so be sure to stop by and um, by all means celebrate with me. Um, I heard him saying, "Where is he? Oh, no, we can't see him." All right, uh, he's been wiggling. He's just been wandering around. At any rate. Uh, if you're only here for stitching stuff, enjoy the rest of your hot summer. And I hope to catch you next week when I have the big giveaway. And yeah, those of you who want to stay for the life update, yeah, here it is. <laughs> Juggling two houses. Um, this house, as you see, it's actually clean, pretty much clean behind me for a change, right? Um, house has to be perfect because it's being shown. It was listed on 8-9. So it's been on the market for like five days, I guess. Something like that. Um, we had an open house on Saturday. And we got our first offer today, but it was like really low. And it was like, yeah, mm -mm. I'm not desperate yet. So yeah, I'm not hungry for enough for that offer at all. So yeah, we countered back on them, but we'll see what they say. They're probably going to walk and that's fine. But yeah, as far as getting it list ready to list, we've been doing deep cleaning and painting and hiding everything and stuff like that. As you... He's itchy. He's supposed to have the groomer today and they canceled on me. So now they're going to be here tomorrow. So he's itching a bit. And um, so the other has a zip ball. For pumping there. Um, the other house, I've been cleaning out all the mom's hoarding. <laughs> I tease her, I call, tell her that's what she does all the time. Uh, she'll go to a shelf and pick two or three things out and say, okay, this is what I want to keep. The rest of it you can get, get her box up and give away to charity or whatever. I don't know. Like, Why is it here? Oh my gosh. So yeah, so we've been going through that. Um, got new carpets put in. So we've got the hardwood through most of the house and carpet in the bedrooms. And we've got a tree guy come in to trim up the trees and take away the old sheds. Um, and that's what will be this Friday, Friday and Saturday. So that's being done. I believe landscaping guy, he's a friend of my husband's. I think he's coming out in the next weekend. Maybe the one after that, I'm not sure. But at any rate, he's coming out. He's going to doing a bunch of the land flattening and stuff like that so we can put the um, portable building out there and the garage. So, yeah, an extra garage, one that's long enough for my husband's boat. Yeah, so that's the way it's been going. Um, Mom did have another episode at the grocery store, and I know it was about a couple months ago where she had that little, I guess it was a couple months ago, it was in the spring. Think I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> At any rate, where she had her kind of collapse in the grocery store, well, she started to feel weak and like she was going to do that again. But she took her grocery cart to the up front and told them she needed to sit down and rest for a little while. And she did, and then she called my brother and had him come get her. So, because she didn't feel comfortable driving, which is good. 
and she recognized it and everything else and that kind of thing but at least my brother's there to help her out too but it's obviously time for me to get there to help her more took her to the grocery store and other stores while I was there this past weekend so yeah um, tried to see dad twice the first time he was in the shower you know the nurses take him and shower him and stuff so I was like okay well I'll come back later and I left came back and he was sleeping and he was sleeping hard I mean I walked into his room and I'm like I'm like what are you gonna do sleep all day and I said it kind of loud he didn't move and I walked up to his bed and I'm like dad notice that he was breathing and so obviously I don't know if it was the drugs or if it was you know his afternoon dose of meds or he was just really tired but he wasn't wanting to he was sleeping so I was like all right I'll just leave so we left and Bo is not sure about all the activities going on and going back and forth to mom's house although he loves mom so that's good and he likes the backyard there it's bigger and I mean it's not a bad thing he's just going back and forth a little bit too and so he's acting out a little bit he's been a little bit naughty lately uh, he's been back to stealing and things like that so all in all everything is going as much as planned as possible and I'm just going to continue keep moving forward um, like I said next week on the 23rd I'll be doing another video and I hope to see you all then and uh, come celebrate with me. Have a good summer. Bye.